everyone. Thank you guys so much for joining us for another live zoo to you. My name is Amanda. I am one of the ambassador animal specialists here at Franklin Park Zoo. But most important, Maisie. She is a Cuban rock iguana. She was the newest addition to our ambassador program and is making her zoo to you debut. So I'm so excited that you guys are able to join her, join with us today. I'm gonna talk a little bit about Maisie individually, and then we'll go a little into her training, why she's on this beautiful perch right here, and some natural history. So a little bit of info about Maisie. She's old, and she has been an ambassador and experience under her belt, being around other guests and being outside to educate people about her species. She is actually about 33 inches long. So if you're ever wondering how long she actually is, I know sometimes it's hard to tell over video. And she weighs about five and a half pounds. So right now we weigh her every other week and she's not really gonna grow anything, but we have just a size of what, how long she is actually right now. She lives behind the scenes um, in an area that is actually close to the public. So being able to see her out and about around the zoo is sort of a special experience, especially for you guys to get to see her on our zoo to you today. So a little bit about Cuban rock iguanas in general. These guys are from Cuba, so they are really used to very warm, humid climates. So that's why we are actually outside here today for you guys to see her since it's such a beautiful day. And she actually is accustomed to be in much warmer and humid climates. In her indoor habitat, we actually have a humidifier in there to help keep it nice and warm and humid for her, which I know for a lot of people, we do not like humidity that much. She is built for that. So she actually has what we call a dewlap right here that you can get a little bit closer look at. That's actually gonna help regulate her body temperature and help her be more well adapted to be in those warmer climates. So everything about her to her size, how she hunts, how she gets around her environment is all adapted to her main natural habitat in Cuba. Other really cool things about Cuban rock iguanas, which people don't really think about, these guys are actually excellent swimmers. Um, we, do, we can provide kind of like kiddie pools for Maisie here at the zoo. Um, but these guys would naturally be able to jump really, really high off of different trees all the way down to different types of streams or other bodies of water and be able to travel that way. And iguanas can actually, which I recently very learned, that they can only hold their breath for up to 30 minutes, which is so impressive. Um, so that is one of the really cool adaptations about iguanas that most people don't really think about. Um, she's an excellent jumper. Um, she has an elevated area in her enclosure here at the zoo as well. So we try to make that um, very specific to what she would go for out in the wild. Now, Cuban rock iguanas are found in um, basically different types of burrows. So they try to hide there. That's where they'll nest as well. And these guys are considered about 95% herbivorous, which means that 5% of the time, sometimes they'll eat bugs or maybe even like leftover carcasses, carcasses that they would maybe find in their environment. But 95% of the time, they're gonna be eating leafy greens and fruits and veggies and lots of flowers. One of Maisie's favorite foods here at the zoo is definitely prickly pear cacti, which is super fun to give her. She loves that food. And so that's basically what her diet is. What she'll eat here at the zoo is a lot of leafy greens. She'll eat bananas, she'll eat apple, she'll eat um, butternut squash, lots of different types of vegetables. So we make sure that her diet is very balanced so that she gets all the nutrients she needs and also gets extra supplements as well. So I'm gonna go a little bit more into um, conservation for Cuban rock iguanas, and then I'll take any questions that you have specifically about Maisie or anything that you have. So Cuban rock iguanas are considered a vulnerable species in their natural environment due to habitat loss, as well as predators in their area that aren't really native to that area. So some of their biggest predators in Cuba would end up being cats, right? So that's really gonna mess with the ecosystems hunting on these animals. 
So there are different organizations and um, basically Head Start programs that do help to reintroduce Cuban rock iguanas back into their natural environment and get those population numbers up. So San Diego Zoo is one of those zoos that will actually take um, Cuban rock iguana eggs and raise them. And they have in the past been able to put them back in Cuba so that way they can repopulate and get those numbers up. So there are things that um, zoos do to help that species in general. We do that work very similarly with, uh, it's a really popular program, efforts. So Maisie serves as an ambassador for her species to be able to educate you guys about Cuban rock iguanas and how cool they are and why they're so important to care about. So I'll see if you guys have any questions at all, maybe in the chat that you might have. Feel free to add any whatsoever. Can you just talk a little bit about why you're wearing the gloves? When yeah, you're absolutely. Thanks for bringing that up. So there's a few reasons. One, if I have to move Maisie, if you can get really like a little closer, you can see she has these nails that are super long, especially her back ones right here. And that's a really important adaptation for her to be able to climb trees. And they tend to be really sharp. So if I were to pick her up, um, that would be really, really sharp on my hands. And I also sometimes wear these right here on um, my arms so that way I don't get scratched. And it's not a, um, it's not like her trying to hurt. Um, also, some of reptiles do carry salmonella, which is totally fine. So I just want to make sure that I'm not protected. Also really loves um, to be touched and she loves tactile. So I have this back scratcher right here that we do use with her. And that's a way that we can reinforce her and tell her that she's doing a really great job being out here on this perch. But you can see she's super comfortable right now. This is a way, this is something actually that the zoo built for us, specially made for Maisie. So that way we can bring her out for public programs in a more natural position. Versus if I was holding her, that could be kind of constricting for her. She kind of showed us with her behavior as we got to know her, that she actually prefers to be elevated and kind of have a better view of everything. So that's what we made with this perch for her. And you can see that we did add, they need something to grasp onto to feel supported. So we're able to provide that in having this perch for her or even, you know, being able to use a back scratcher with her as well. She is eight years old and Cuban rock iguanas can live up to 15 years. And is scratching her favorite kind of enrichment that you do with her? So it's one of the best enrichments that we can provide for her. She does seem to like a variety of things. One thing that she seems to really like is when we hang her food and whole leafy greens um, versus us just leaving it in a bowl. She seems to really find that very interesting. We also will give her mirrors that she'll look at herself in the mirror. That's something that we've definitely seen her do. And sometimes we'll actually play with like hangy cat toys, kind of what you do to like have like a chasing game with your cat. She'll actually um, participate in that as well, which is really fun to do with her too. If people are wondering about having one of these guys as pets, would you have any, anything to say for that? Yeah, absolutely. So these guys do not make great pets for a variety of reasons. One, they do live a really long time. They require very strict temperature guidelines as well as humidity, which can be very hard to simulate in your house. And three, they do require a lot of intention, medical care, and you know, they live a long time. And so that is a huge commitment for someone. Being able to get them outdoors and get exercise time, that's all a really big part of um, being very um, responsible pet ownership. But we definitely do not, um, we do not recommend to have a Cuban rock iguana as a pet whatsoever. We have a bunch of people just saying how beautiful she is. She is so <laughs> beautiful for sure, especially out in the sun. So it's really great to be able to get her outside so that way you can see how like her colors for sure. The sun definitely shows that off. Does the coloring vary in, in different individuals? You know, for the most part, I this is my first Cuban rock iguana I've ever worked with. So I can't say from personal experience, I think from really looking at pictures, they mostly look generally the same. Sometimes her coloring changes slightly a bit, like her face is a little bit more bluer today. Um, but for the most part, they kind of generally look pretty similar. 
And how much do you train with her? So she actually is not in a formal training program yet. One of our goals with her is to actually target train her where we can um, present her a target, which you guys might have seen at the zoo before, which is um, basically like a buoy on a pole. And then she'd be trained to touch the tip of her nose up to that target. She's pretty new to us, so we have not started that her with her yet. But that is definitely a goal that we will be doing with her. I think thank you guys so much for joining us. Um, I'm so glad you guys were able to meet Maisie, especially because she is an animal that lives behind the scenes. So you don't always get the opportunity to see her every time you come to the zoo. But please, thank you so much for um, coming to us. She is one of those animals that you can book a program through our education department, whether it's school programming or a personal encounter. And she is definitely one of those options to meet in person.